Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through a few basic steps with Vyalski 2.0. We're going to talk about the installation and basic operations. Uh, what we're going to walk through today are installing a Vyalski machine, changing from maintenance mode to kiosk mode and disabling automatic resets. You just need a Vyalski installation media and a test computer or virtual machine. If you have trouble creating the media, make sure that you've checked out the videos on the YouTube channel, they should help you out. So, let's get started. I have an empty VMware virtual PC here, or a VMware virtual machine. Uh, it has one gigabytes of memory and a 60 gigabyte hard disk, and it's using a Vyoski ISO file, which we created in the previous videos. Let's just start up the machine. So the Windows PE on the installation media is starting right now. Okay, so here we are for the first prompt talking about erasing your hard disk. Just remember that if you want to skip any of these steps in the Windows PE phase, you can use the unattended installation of Vyoski. There's also a video about the unattended installation on the YouTube channel. So we're okay with the erasing of the hard disk. Uh, we're going to install a 64-bit Windows 8 and give it a name we are one that's all you need to do to get started so this will just take a while so i'll get back to you when the installation has gone through the windows pe phase and the installation itself so here we are now we have a ready Windows 8 Vioski machine here. So what happens next? First we'll have to log in with the maintenance account. It has the default password of capital Q W E R T Y number one, which you can change afterwards. So as we're in Windows 8, let's change to the desktop. And here you can see, as long as you can see the you are in maintenance mode icon, that means that all the changes that you do to this machine will stick around and will never be erased. What you can do now is perhaps update your Vyoski machine with latest updates, install the software that you need make changes to the background or whatever you wish. Here we have the basic operations of Vyoski. First is the change to kiosk mode. This will change Vyoski to the mode which will allow you for the self-resetting capability. So whenever you double click this, nothing will happen as you are not running it with UAC. So whenever you use one of these commands, you have to use right click and run as administrator. Vyoski needs to be installed in English, but if you wish, you can now install the language back that you desire and then change the language to whatever you wish. You can also, whenever you want, change the names of these shortcuts. It doesn't affect Vyoski at all. So change to kiosk mode, change to maintenance mode, which will reboot Vyoski back to the back to a f state where you can make changes to it. Then there's disable automatic reset, 
which will disable the uh, disable the automatic resetting so that whenever you reboot the machine all your changes will stick around and all the changes will be reset to the original state only when you choose the reset now icon here if you want it to reset on every single boot you can then return to enable automatic reset and then whenever the computer reboots it'll just revert back so what we'll do now is just make a few changes so I'll just choose the background image and make it something a little bit more cool like the earth theme and then just create a folder just for our reference so we can see that it'll still be there after the reset this should always be here let's also change the windows 8 start screen a little bit so we'll just erase a few of these icons or tiles here and leave only the IE and the desktop like here now that we've done we'll just go and choose change to kiosk mode run as administrator yes please and now we ask if we'll restart When you're resetting your machine in Vioski, it doesn't need the Windows PE phase in Vioski 2.0, but even whenever you change from the maintenance mode to the kiosk mode, it will use Windows PE. So this phase will take a few minutes maximum. So that was the Windows PE phase, it actually took about 20 seconds perhaps okay so now we're back in Windows 8 let's log on with the maintenance so here we have our Windows 8 start screen let's go and destroy these tiles go to the desktop destroy this folder change the background image back to the default windows theme as you can see now there is no icon saying that you are in kiosk mode this tells you that whatever you do now will not be saved Let's actually go and destroy all of the icons as well. What you can do now is reset the machine or shut down the machine. Perhaps I'll just go and choose settings and restart. So Vioski is rebooting. So here we go. Let's try to log on again. So here we are. Everything is back to the way we set it up. Let's just go to the desktop to see it folder is back and all the icons are back usually when you're running Vioski you should keep this maintenance user as your operating user and just when you let people use the kiosk then you use the kiosk user 